We begin tonight, Texas in Morning, a grieving community gathering for a prayer vigil after the second deadliest elementary school shooting in American history. 21 people, mostly children, gunned down in Uvalde. Here's a look at some of those victims now as we learn heartbreaking new details about who they were. So far, 10 students and two teachers who died have been identified. The massacre unfolding just days before summer break. Investigators now searching for a motive as we learn new details about the gunman. We have complete team coverage beginning with Local 10's Bridget Matter live in Uvalde, Texas with the very latest details. Bridget. Well, it's just so hard to describe how heartbreaking this really is. We spent the day talking to people, everyone from families to police officers, border patrol agents, even mothers who drove from San Antonio, Texas with flowers with no connection to this at all, just wanting to pay their respects. The biggest question on everyone's mind, on America's mind, is why did this happen? Rob Elementary School in the quaint town of Uvalde, Texas, is the center of a school mass shooting investigation. It's rattled the small, quiet town. Their stories are heartbreaking and uh, God bless them. 19 children and two teachers are dead after an 18 year old gunman opened fire inside a joined classroom. But the suspect's rampage started at his home where he shot his grandmother. First thing that happened was the gunman shot his grandmother in the face. She then contacted police. The gunman fled and uh, as he was fleeing, had an accident just outside of the elementary school and he ran into the school. He then barricaded himself inside the classroom, armed with AR-15 style rifles, wearing tactical gear. He would exchange fire with police until Border Patrol agents killed him. Four of my agents were actually part of that initial entry team. Also DPS, also Uvalde PD, the, the independent school district police. It was, it was a group effort. Chief Jason Owens with Customs and Border Patrol says his agents pulled children from windows. He also says his agents were affected by this tragedy. While the investigation is still ongoing and, and we, we have had some that have already received notification, but yes, uh, there, we did have people that were impacted by the events of yesterday. The Texas Rangers are the lead investigating agency. The question of motive remains. Police piecing together the suspect's digital footprint. We know he was active on social media, messaging a teen girl living in Germany just before the shooting. The chilling texts include, quote, shoot up in elementary school. Then this, I just shot my grandmother in the head. I'm going to shoot up in elementary school right now. That last message sent at 621 p.m. German time, which would have been 1121 in Uvalde, Texas. 11 minutes later, police received their first call of a shooting at Robb Elementary School. He posted on Facebook and tagged another girl on Instagram in a photo showing two AR-15 style rifles. The first post was to the point of, he said, I'm going to shoot my grandmother. The second post was, I shot my grandmother. The third post, maybe less than 15 minutes before arriving at the school, was, I'm going to shoot an elementary school. And we learned the gunman turned 18 a little more than a week ago. So in the days following that, he purchased those two AR-15 style rifles and 375 rounds of ammunition. Nicole Calvin. The details that we've learned today are just so tragic in this story. And Bridget, we also learned that that suspect was, he barricaded himself inside the school for quite some time. He did. He was in there for up to an hour. And what makes, makes us all more tragic is this was in a joined classroom. Those two teachers and many more students there. Bridget Matter Live Force in Texas tonight. Bridget, thanks a lot. Our team coverage turns now to Eden Checkle. She's here now with how families and loved ones are remembering the young lives lost. Calvin Nicole, at least 19 students and two teachers lost their lives in the Uvalde school massacre. And now heartbroken families are faced with the fact that their loved ones are never returning home. Angel Garza, a med aide, was rushing into Robb Elementary School to help when he found out his own little girl, Amory, was shot to death. This one little girl was just, just covered in blood, head to toe. Like, I thought she was injured. I asked her what was wrong, and she said she's okay. She was hysterical, saying that they shot her best friend, that they killed her best friend, and she's not breathing, and that she was trying to call the cops. And I asked the little girl the name, and she's... 
And she told me, hey, she said, hey, Marie. Felix and Kimberly Rubio were just with their daughter Lexi at school minutes before she was gunned down. I just want my baby. Among the victims, 10 year old Rogerio Torres. His family anxiously waited for 12 hours to learn if he survived. He didn't make it. 10 year old cousins Jackie Cazares and Annabelle Rodriguez also shot to death. They were both in fourth grade and in the same class. Another set of cousins, J.C. Carmelo Luvanos and Jaila Nicole Sulguerdo, taken from their loved ones. Fourth grade teacher Eva Mireles credited for going above and beyond to help her students. It was more than anybody else has ever poured into my child. I've just never seen anyone quite so dedicated. Mireles' daughter posting this note on Twitter. My sweet mommy, I will miss you forever. Mireles' co-teacher, Irma Garcia, also gunned down. And 10-year-old Javier Lopez's mother had just attended his award ceremony hours before the shooting. One of the youngest victims, 8-year-old Uzziah Garcia. His grandpa says he was the sweetest little boy that I've ever known. Two funeral homes in Uvalde said they will not be charging families for funeral services.